Hello and welcome to a DCS Black Shark 2 startup tutorial. My name is Juan Enrique and I'm going to show you how to start up the KA50 today. Um, let's get right to it. Um, I'm going to create a fast mission. I'm going to start from the ramp and uh, just gonna load it up and I'll see you then. So here we are sitting comfortably in our cockpit of our KA50. It's nice and cool down. Uh, before we start, I'd like to get off a few informations. Uh, I am not using any different key bindings. This is how the game was set up as I installed it. I am using a joystick, but right now I'm using the mouse as a view thing and only my keyboard for switching between mouse view and cursor mode, which you can, you know, this is the mouse view and this is the cursor mode, which will of course allow me to look around, zoom in and out and turn on things and turn off things as needed. I'm using NVIDIA Inspector to make this baby look, well, better than standard. <laughs> I'm anti-alizing the crap out of this game, so it's beautiful. I see no nothingness, no different artifacts. It's beautiful. It's simply awesome. And uh, that said, I think we can start. I'm going to turn on, I'm going to show you how to turn on this baby, and this is my tutorial. This is how I do it. I don't know if there's an official way to do this, uh, a correct way to do this. I just know that if you're learning DCS2 and you know you want to fly this thing and get to actually playing missions where you know what you're doing, then this tutorial is going to suffice. It's ex absolutely sufficient. So that said, let's start by giving our helicopter power by pressing the two switches, battery one and two, up. Remember always to close down the switches. In reality, you would not want to stumble with your forearms or with your elbows or anything onto any important switches while you're flying because you don't want your chopper to turn off and, you know, in midair and power down. <laughs> that would be not good. So with the batteries one and two on, I'm going to turn on the AC, uh, AC system generators for left and right engines. Yes, I'm going to do it now simply because I want to. Alright, uh, before I forget, I'm going to turn on the fuel uh, pumps, the forward and aft <laughs> fuel pumps. You can already hear them, you know, pump, gas, I guess, pump fuel. And what we're going to do now, right here where our right butt cheek should be, there's this switch called Ekran, Hit, Trans, and Pump, which probably means Ekran, which is the, you know, Ekran system here, the, the, the intelligence, the, the, the artificial intelligence in the chopper, I think it's called that, Ikran, Hydraulics, Transition, and Power, which, you know, sounds good. Sounds good to me. I'm going to turn that on. Right on top of it is the UV-26. I'm going to turn that on, the operational one, not the test one. And see, this is what I mean with the not professional, my version of the tutorial, because normally if you would sit in a real chopper, you would actually have to test all your equipment, make sure everything is running fine. And to be honest, I don't know how to do it on everything because it is very uh, impressive, this game, how deep and how realistic it is because you can test everything, like in real life. You can test the radios, you can test the engines, you can test the, the fire extinguishing system, everything. But since I don't know how to do this, I'm just going to stick to turning this thing on as quickly as, as, quickly as possible, basically. So, having turned on the UV-26, I'm going to turn on the L-140, which is the, I think, the laser targeting system of this chopper. And then there's the INU, which I think is the uh, inertial navigation unit, which I'm going to turn on as well. Turning my head around back to the fore, we see there's already a warning blinking. The chopper's going to blow up in two seconds. Okay, nothing happened. Phew. Close one. No, I'm just kidding. This is basically a warning sign to let you know that the warning sign is working. <laughs> so, with that done, so we turned on our batteries, our AC engine, uh, our AC system generators for left and right, our fuel pumps, the Ikran, the uh, UV26, the L140, and the INU. So what we're going to do now is turn on our APU, or auxiliary <laughs> auxiliary power unit. <laughs> it's not a CPU, it's an APU. So we're going to turn that on, click, and then on the start panel right here on our left, there is a start button, which I'm going to start, and I mean, I mean not, I'm not going to start, I'm going to click it for a few seconds, 
and be patient. If everything went well, you should hear your APU spooling up. Which is basically, you know, the engine of the engine of the engine. The APU is going to allow us to start the engine that spools up the engines, <laughs> basically. So, that done, uh, we can close our cockpit door since it's going to get pretty loud uh, pre by pressing Control c <whistles> Clunk, clunk. There we go. Closed. Now we're... well, it's not too quiet, but it's quieter. So, what we can do now, um, I'm just going to keep the view like this, but I'm going to turn on the... K041 and the LAS, which is the laser targeting system, and the KO thing 41, whatever, is basically if I click here, oh, this panel turns, you know, turns to life. This is gonna woohoo turn in a few seconds to life. There we go. The uh, artificial horizon, the altimeters, the, uh, you know, how the climb rate indicators, the altimeters, the RPM meters, basically on this panel everything is turning on. Since we're turning on the left side, let's turn on the right side. Um, right here is the right panel, and we can turn on the m monitor by just flicking this switch up. It's pretty funny to see this uh, computer because it's a really old system. Uh, the CPU is a 486. <laughs> Memory is like, what, 20 megabytes? 2 megabytes? I'm not sure. I think it's 2 megabytes. It's like hilarious. 20 megabytes to fly this thing, right? My my computer is, is using 8 gigabytes, so... <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, my computer I'm using this, uh, I'm running DCS Black Shark on, is a an Intel Core i7 3.5 gigahertz 3770K hyper-threading, to be exact. And my video card is not a EDGA, EDGA 37... No, no, no. Mine is a 680 GTX from NVIDIA which, you know, I'm very proud of. So we were here somewhere. Let me just get back up. Okay, we turn on that, we turn on this, this is turning itself on. And right, the APU is running, so we want to turn on the left, left engine, which we'll do by switching on the left fuel pump shutoff valve, then the EEG for the left engine, which is the engine, engine something governor, I don't know, I don't remember. Right here, there's these red thingies with the yellow thingies and the black thingy. We want to switch down the... press down the rotor brakes. Oh, it says that rotor brake. Excellent. Click it down. That way, the rotors won't be, you know, broken. Ha <laughs> ha. And the engine cutoff valve, we switch up. Excellent. We are now ready to start the left engine, which will do so by switching this thing, the APU, basically, to the left engine. And uh, let me just check. Okay, the, this has turned on, by the way. Yep, we're ready to go. I'm going to press Start and quickly move my view over to the RPM meters. There we go. This is Engine 1, Engine 2, obviously. Temperature is rising. Pressure is rising, as you can see. We can also see that this baby is coming to life. Yes, by the way, my chopper is the Spanish version of the KA-50. Ha ha ha. Fuerzas armadas. España! Yes. So let's go back inside the cockpit. This is going to take a while. So I'm going to do like... I'm going to switch. I mean, I'm not going to switch. I'm going to set this up. You can set the artificial horizon. Um, I think we turn, didn't turn on the laser. No, we didn't. And... Uh, yeah. Judging by the sound. Oh crap. Oh shit. Okay, I know. Sorry. My uh my throttle was up. My my, my joystick. Its throttle was up. That uh, okay, fine. I just uh remember to put your throttle to idle. <laughs> Damn. That was not good. Okay, so our standard right now in this mode should be seventy thousand RPM. Which is good. Basically standard. I was I just you know, it was like this right now, and I was like, oh my god, we're going to blow up. Which is not the way it should be. So I'm going to leave it again at 70,000, standard, and we're going to turn on the right engine. Smithies, turn on the right engine again. 
Okay, so the right engine, fuel shutoff valve, the right one. We go over here, EEG for the right one. We go over to the brakes and, you know, open the cutoff valve for the right engine. Go here to the start panel, switch it from LH to RH. Press start. I like to look at the RPM meter to see that everything is going fine. See, that's how I noticed something was wrong, because my throttle was up. Thankfully, nothing happened. That's how it can go. Huh? That's why I also said please don't expect this tutorial to like make you a KA-50 pilot the next day, because yeah, it's not. <laughs> this will suffice for you to turn on your chopper here in the game, and will, I guess, give you enough accomplishment to keep on going. I know how frustrating it can be to not know something in a game and, and, you know, just quitting because you're frustrated. So here we go. Engine 2 is at 70,000. Awesome. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. So once we're done with that, we can turn off our APU, which is done here at the start button, remember? At the start panel? Well, there's a button called APU Shutoff. Sounds good to me in this case, so I'm going to press it. And you should hear the APU go... Ew. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So we're almost ready. Our engines are pulled up. Not fully, though. We cannot take off like this. So what we want to do... Uh, what we want to do is l uh, look at our left here. Our left butt cheek, basically. When I throttle up, this goes up, right? But also these two go up. And I guess, I don't know, these are like the switches for the status of your rotor. So if I go down here and I just take a look, I'm going to do it multiple times so I can ex exactly show you what happens. I press uh, page up once, and they both go up once, okay? I press it again, and it goes up a bit more, so I'm going to press it twice down again to just it's on neutral I don't know what that is and I don't know what that is I don't know what statuses these are so I'm just gonna put it back on neutral like I cannot I idle I guess it's called um, so there we go um, I'm gonna show you what happens on the RPM meter because what I want to do to be take off ready is press twice page up twice which will put it to that state but since I want to show you what happens I'm gonna press it down again go back to normal state 70,000 RPM Everything is normal here. I'm going to press it twice, up, and see what happens. Pressure rises, temperature rises, and the RPM rises for just a second and then drops back down to 80,000. Now we are at 80,000 uh, RPM on both engines, approximately. Here it should say like you know, 90,000, which is basically exactly what we wanted. And we are ready for takeoff. Okay, I have not done a lot of things, like, for the example, the, the lights, uh, which are also here, uh, many, many things, the, the, the navigational systems I have not done, which I'm going to do right now. I'm not going to explain this now because it's a bit complicated and I'm not sure of it myself either. I just know approximately what to do. The radio, this is the uh, computer, the uh, uh, autopilot computer which I can use here, I turn on the navigation on the, on the map basically I can scale in and scale out awesome. see I have a waypoint there I could explain to you how to get that waypoint but I'm going to do that in another tutorial if necessary, if needed, if wanted uh, before I take off, which I'm going to do at the end of this uh, tutorial before I take off I'm going to you know, set up a few basic things the, the artificial horizon has to be set up correctly uh, I'm going to set up this one exactly, so I turn the mouse wheel on it. Oh, <laughs> something about... Uh, I forgot to turn on the things, which is okay, since this is a tutorial. This is not going to be important on this one, on this lesson, but it's going to be important in another lesson. So there we go. Artificial horizons, everything is running normal, perfectly. I'm going to turn on the pitch hold, bank hold, and heading hold for my autopilot, and I'm going to take off. And I'm going to do that by, mm, I'm going to, you know, press my joystick up a bit, 
and I'm going to click this magic button and I'm going to explain it. I'm not the tutorial, maybe. And I'm going to release the stick and I'm going to start throttling up. And since this is a much cooler view from outside, I'd like to show this from the outside. So here we go. They're already getting lighter and I'm just going to take off enough BS. Let's just... enough BS and DCS. Let's just take off. Since we're taking off nice and easy, I'm going to press G to, you know, gear up. My co-pilot taking off right there. Hold on, where is he? I don't know where he is. So that's me here. Hi guys. So, uh, I'm going to just hold that. Switch back to the cockpit. Excellent. I'm going to throttle down a bit. I'm uh, climbing a bit too fast and I want to. Here we can see, by the way, right? I want to have that ride on zero. There we go. Okay. And when it's on zero, I want this. I'm going to press the uh, alt hold button on the thing, and it didn't work. But never mind. Um, so that's basically it, people. We've taken off. Our uh, wingman is catching up with us. Which is okay. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. Uh, if you want me uh, to do another video with more details, uh, you know, I didn't turn off any lights, I didn't turn off anything really important. I don't think even we would fire our gun if I, would, if I were to shoot. So, of course, this tutorial is basically, like I said, a basic tutorial how to start your KA-50. Everything is perfectly, we're just gliding gently in the air. There's our co-pilot. I didn't even turn on the radio, so normally I would hear him say, I am your comrade and I am on your left. But uh, since I didn't do that, I am not hearing him talk. Which is fine, which is okay. So yeah, people, I hope you liked it. Rate this video up if you liked it. Rate this video up if you'd like to see more. And of course, comment. And if you didn't like this video, rate it down and say, Boo, you suck. Whatever, I don't care. But I hope you liked it and... Um, yeah. See you next time, maybe, and good flying, safe flying, bye-bye.